good afternoon, Stephen here from Forestside um, Shopping Centre and what I'm going to do today is a lovely brunch dish. Um, feels like a bit of a faff this dish but it's not actually, you can really prepare a lot of things in advance. You have your white sauce in advance and stuff. I'm also going to show you how to do the perfect poached egg which people kind of struggle with today. So um, our ingredients are, so we'll put a bit of sourdough bread here, okay. A couple of eggs, we have flour and butter. We also have um, Gruyere cheese, Parmesan cheese, chives, a bit of mustard, uh, egg and garlic and onion. So it's pretty much we start off with a lovely um, white sauce first, like our bechamel sauce as you would know it as. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to flavour the sauce first. So I'm going to grab an onion here, like so. This is quite a big onion for what I need. So I'm just going to cut it down like that. And I'm going to put my onion into my milk. My milk is on at a low temperature at the moment, but I'm going to bring that heat up in a wee second. Okay? So, what the onion's doing there is giving the milk an infusion and giving it a wee bit of flavour. I'm going to stick a bay leaf into the milk. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple of cloves of garlic. Again, more flavour into that milk. Okay? If you like more garlic, you can add more, it's up to you. But I think two's more than enough for this. To be honest with you. So, as you can see, really see when I'm doing this garlic too, I'm not even chopping it up, I'm just going to cut it in half and put it in to our milk like so. No need to cut it up as all we're doing is infusing the milk for the um, sauce. Right, so that's that done. Milk's on the medium heat with your onion, bay leaf, and garlic. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this pan to the front and I'm going to melt 20 grams of butter and 20 grams of flour together and that creates what we call a roux, okay? So then it goes to our pan, so just watch it's not too high a heat at this stage. Just explain why we're waiting on this, this morning part here. Um, when you're poaching an egg, if you don't have these little silver ramekins at home, which you probably don't, you can use like a small cup or like a wee egg beaker or something like that. But what we do is when we're, we're poaching, you'll see me do it later, we'll always use it in this. I see people trying to crack them in like that, and basically what happens, the egg goes everywhere. So you'll see. Why are we waiting on our butter melting? We're going to get our sourdough, which have sliced quite thickly, like that. One per person, unless you're really hungry. And then we'll get a wee bit of olive oil over the top, like that. Both sides. Our precious. And then we'll put a wee bit of sea salt in that. So, push it wet, like so. And then we're going to get a bit of sea salt, which I have over here. And then I'm going to toast that on both sides until it's really crispy under the grill. Okay, back to the roux. Butter's melting. And the flour is now going to absorb all that butter up. So, it's always good to have a good pan too. Helps. I'm using a lovely non-stick pan here. So. And then what we're going to do here is we've got our hot milk infused with our onion and our garlic on your bay leaf. And you can put a wee sieve in there if you're not, you know, as experienced as I would be doing something like this. And just use this is the time. Always make sure when you're adding your milk and your cream here that you do it nice and slowly, okay? Don't rush this. That's the mistake that people make. If they rush this, you get what I call a pasty or a flurry sauce. You gotta cook that flour out completely. Now, okay. Right, 
We're going to put quite a bit of cheese in this sauce in a minute too. I'll show you that in a minute. We're well, going to half parmesan, half gruyere. Gruyere is lovely when it melts. Really melts really well. Again, as I say, nice and slow. Taking your time. Don't increase your heat. Keep your heat about a medium high. Can't emphasize enough. It's even when I'm teaching up in the school, when we're making sauces like this for different things, or even when we're making curry sauces, people want to rush everything. And you got to take your time. Or it's you're not going to have a good sauce, pretty much. More cream and milk together. I'm using double cream, by the way. Um, if I didn't tell you. It's 200 milliliters of double cream, 200 milliliters of milk. Back to the cream of milk. Don't worry too, if it looks a wee bit tiny curdle at this stage, your spoon will bring it back. Or you can cheat a wee bit and use a big whisk. Okay, but mine's, I'm happy enough where we are at the moment. Some people do get panicked a wee bit and see it all curdling and go, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? But you see that's a lovely sauce so far. Yeah, okay. Those are remaining milk. Okay. See the onion and the garlic was left behind there, so no panics. This stage we're going to put a little bit of mustard into it. The mustard's really up to you how much mustard you like. My recipe, I have one tablespoon of mustard in mine there, so three tablespoons of mustard. Okay, start bringing the together again. Beautiful sauce. Now, here's a the bit I love, I'm going to get our cheese in. Start off with a little parmesan, about two tablespoons of parmesan cheese. Don't cheat on the cheese as I say. We'll get some gray here. Oh yeah. <laughs> they look good. Okay, so you get that in there. So I'm trying to heat up now, so got big bubbles. That's the slowest grill I've ever seen in my life. Is it up to temperature or I don't know, we'll find out in a while. Not we'll swap over the grills. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm lost with touch. So, sauce is ready, basically, at the back, so we're going to leave it like that, seasoned. 
can chop a few chives there if you want, which I'm going to do now. So we get some chives. Bend them up. And then we're going to put a few chives to the sauce. The sauce, as I said at the start of the little video guys, is a thing you can do the day before. And actually it works really well because what happens is it sets and then you can spread it over your toast like you know, like if you're doing a big knob of butter, you know. And um, it really works really, really well, set overnight. So we'll leave that like that. The chives are in there. Okay, check our bread. Okay, so we're gonna make our four tacks here. Ben, you wanna get this one? So this is called a vortex, it's kind of in the, hole, in the center. You get nice and close with your egg and put the egg in like that. Never splash it up, nice and close. I'm going to eat it there, 10, 12 of one. I'll just let them be. Um, when I had, we used to have a restaurant in Bangor called Jeffers Brown and Marina. Our brunch, we would have done 120 eggs every Saturday night before brunch and post them off. Burn your toast. I grill it a wee bit, take the chill off it. You can put the egg with yolk in this sauce if you want to. Really makes it nice. And the eggs, if you look in there, the eggs just, they're um, perfectly poached. So you just leave that for two minutes. And it's not too much. Um, another mistake people make is to boil this when the eggs are in there. But you remember that word poach, poach is slow. So if you can see I'm just taking over there, nicely taking over, taking over. There you go, that's your brunch dish. Oh, Big one applause with Chef Jeffers. <laughs> there you go. And that's ham, <laughs> Korean cheese, poached eggs. We're doing some 